welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel my dear friends today's video is regarding the measles a one type of the fever where this particular disease is very common in the children but my dear friends always remember this disease is very very common in general medical practice so let us start to discuss about measles myself is professor dr r r deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine that is kai chikitsa and md in ayurvedic physiology that is a kriya sharir for paid online consultation and paid online bms classes you can definitely contact me through the whatsapp only on 9226810630 you will get this particular video in the playlist that is kai chikitsa and internal medicine i have already uploaded more than 800 videos or the different audios and videos on my channel this is useful for the students as well as for the practicing doctors and as well as the common man and the patients so today's topic is measles which is a part of kai chikitsa subject kai chikitsa in ayurveda is a fourth year bams this particular year you have this subject kai chikitsa so this is the lecture of kai chikitsa but useful not only for the students but for the medical doctors and patients as well this lecture is based according to the ccm syllabus paper 1 part b point number 1 fever and in this big topic of fever that is jwar in ayurveda jwar the word is jwar so one of the cause of the fever is measles and this question will be asked in your examination as a s a q short answer question right describe measles and viva or the oral you will also get this particular questions on this topic you may get a short case for your uh, a clinical examination and you will have to answer in the hospitals if there is a case of measles okay so measles in ayurveda the word is romantika write down this word romantika this is acute contagious viral infection contagious means it can spread from one child to another child okay so this is epidemics and this is occurring in the season winter season especially november december january these months young children are affected due to droplet spread of infection incubation period from 12 to 14 days that means getting the viral virus in your body and getting the symptoms the period in between virus is entering and the symptoms are appearing this this particular period is called as a incubation period and nearly it is 14 days so the patient of measles if comes to the doctor we always ask the history of last 15 days if that particular child is having any contact in the school with the child of measles okay so this is this importance of incubation period you have to note the case, uh, case history uh during the period of 15 days remember so measles if you are, want to understand this romantika three stages are there prodromal or the catarrhal stage is number 1 and this stage last for 4 days prodromal or catarrhal stage actually this particular stage starts suddenly so sudden onset is there patient may get acute fever nasal catarrh that is watering from the nose sneezing conjunctivitis photophobia the patient or the child don't want to look towards the light huh? so fear of the light that is photophobia photo means light phobia means fear cough will be there hoarseness of voice also will be there nearly about urti upper respiratory tract infection type symptoms will be there on the second day pathognomonic the word is very important in ayurveda there is parallel word which is called as vyadhi pratyatma lakshan please write down this word pathognomonic 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 vyadhi pratyatma lakshan 
and what is that specific sign specific symptom coplic spot this is always asked for mcq measles coplic spots measles coplic spot don't forget this connection measles and coplic spots what is this coplic spots they appear in the mucous membrane of mouth and what are these spots look like tiny very small whitish or bluish white spots against a reddish background of the gum at the level of upper second molar teeth upper second molar teeth there will be tiny whitish or bluish white spots with the background of red gums huh? so this is coplic spot don't forget this very important sign coplic spot measles coplic spot measles next second stage exanthematous stage from fourth to seventh day exanthema eruption so the temperature will boost high rise of temperature to begin with it may be 101 now these days there will be 103 degrees per night face will be puffy there will be headache cough will continue photophobia will continue and there will be start muscle pain myalgia lymph nodes may enlarge spleen may be palpable splenomegaly now the most important feature of this second stage is rash exanthema rash exanthema rash this will be on the fourth day and how will be rash maculo papular appear first on the forehead and behind the ears at the junction of skin and hair spread downwards to the whole of the trunk and limbs up to the palm and soles so whole body will be having rash but rash will appear on the fourth day don't forget this because you will be always asked the differential diagnosis in measles and chickenpox i have already uploaded the video of chickenpox so kindly note that particular video measles and chickenpox okay next initially this particular rash will be discreet pink blanch on pressure and later confluent confluent means coming together all two three four will be come together next romantica measles third stage that is recovery stage rapid rash will fade away rashes will go away leaving brownish discoloration of skin and areas of desquamation what are the complications of measles there may be laryngitis inflammation of larynx the voice will change bronchitis cough will start bronchopneumonia high fever will be there and chest will show the pneumonic patches conjunctivitis otitis media that is the infection of the middle ear and albuminuria albumin will come into the urine you will have to check the urine so now the treatment of measles first as it is a contagious you must isolate the patient separation of the patient liquid diet which is easy to digest care of the mouth care of the eyes and care of the bowels the bowels should be very regular and soft now the symptom because this is a viral infection so in spite of directly antiviral treatment you can give first only symptomatic treatment like syrup crocin because the child is there so in spite of tablet you can use the syrup crocin that is paracetamol this is spelling mistake i am sorry for that one teaspoon four hour to control the fever syrup avil expectorant anti allergic anti itching anti proteic okay two two one teaspoon tds two and half teaspoon tds this is also printing mistake this is not 21 if you don't mind i can i would like to correct it if possible so if you can give me the chance to correct it i will try to correct it okay so i can write down like this two better or one tsf tds as per the age of the child okay so this i will save here very uh, very homely we are taking the classes okay next for the conjunctivitis gentesin eye drops you have to prescribe or you have to give one drop in the eye morning afternoon evening and night qid means four times now how to prevent the measles 
measles can be prevent uh, we can do the prevention by giving measles vaccine this measles vaccine is live attenuated vaccine 0.5 ml subcutaneous in the gluteal region okay so give between 9 to 15 months of the uh, age 9 to 15 very early stage of your life you have to take the child has to receive this measles vaccine next this is a fast revision measles causes age mostly children between age of 3 to 5 years rare during the first 6 months of life because of transferred passive immunity from mother so there is no chance that measles will get within the first 6 months of your life the child will be from 3 to 5 years positive agent myo sorry mixo virus group mixo virus group mode of transmission infection is transmitted look my cursor huh? infection is transmitted by droplet of secretions patients suffering from measles shed virus from their respiratory tract during the prodromal period and for 24 to 48 hours after the rash appears this is very infectious you can say the time period incubation period 8 to 10 days now ayurvedic part how you can treat this particular thing so you can give the sooth shaker okay you can see the sooth shaker i am just uh, making this uh, different type of the pain i am using so sooth shaker you can take even I can use the spotlight, for example, one tablet three times in a day, switch shaker, morning, afternoon, evening. Then if fever persists, what you can do? Chandra Kalaras. Chandra Kalaras. Tap one tablet three times in a day. Okay. Pravada, 200 milligram plus Kamadudha, 125 milligram three times a day. Okay. If fever subsides, Paripatha di Tadha, 2 teaspoon plus 2 teaspoon of water for minimum 2 weeks you can give to the patient. Okay. Now, special note take special precaution and avoid free mixing with others because this particular uh, measles is definitely a contagious disease. Can you see? Okay. Next, we will go further. So this is all about the measles. Okay. So this is the Kai Chikitsa lecture for the fourth year BMS according to the CCM syllabus, paper one, part B, and point number one. Big topic is fever, and we have discussed today about the measles. So my dear friend, this is all about uh, what you can say the today's Kai Chikitsa lecture. And I always telling you that this particular all the videos are educational videos. So disclaimer or vaidhani kishara. On CB Bimari may Yathawa Shak Yathakal Vedikya Salalena Bahuti Jeruth. If you are suffering from cerebral palsy, arthritis, MND, motor neuron disease, cancer, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, ADHD, attention deficit, hyperactive disorders, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, or any such type of chronic diseases or autoimmune disease, you can take the help of Ayurveda Academy expert doctors. You can WhatsApp me on 9226810630 for paid online consultation and paid online BMS classes. So, I am very thankful for your patience hearing. Please like this video, share this video, and don't subscribe. Don't fee, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the button icon. So, I wish all the best for your studies as well as for your practice. Survey Santu, Survey Santu Niramayaha. All the best and take care. Bye.